what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump now there was a african-american male gay couple that were quite active on the tiktok platform and um i saw some of the tiktoks had one that was pretty interesting that they both cheated on each other for the same guy and um but they both fell in love with the same dude i don't know it was it was it was crazy right but um so i saw that and uh, maybe you'll see it here in the background and um seemed to be that there were some brothers that was really um in a, in a relationship they was together for 10 years but you know negroes always have a way of uh, doing something very interesting okay and they were playing this game called Overwatch. Now, brothers, comment below if you know anything about Overwatch. I don't know what that is. You know, I'm from Del Paso Heights. I just know about NBA 2K and Madden. I don't know nothing about no Overwatch, Over Under, Over and Out. I don't know nothing about that, but I know there's this game called Overwatch. And apparently what happened was Joe Jovo Watkins, who was his brother right here, and he looks um, deranged. He also look like if I were to see his picture, he he looked like he a dude that's you know he with the funny stuff. Okay, I'm just going to say you 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 can just you can just tell by his face that he that he uh, you know he goes that way. I'm not trying to mean or anything like, but he just looks like that. In these braids that's looking like coaxial cables, blonde hair, brother. What's wrong with your head? What is wrong with your head, brother? Your head look like McDonald's fries. <laughs> just on top of your head this is ridiculous they should have arrested your ass for that what's wrong with your head boy <laughs> going outside like that you look like a mess but anyways this other brother uh rory okay he choked him now both of these guys are pretty they're not no small men so how you know he was able to and, and the other guy was bigger than him so he must have been choking him quite hard okay and it was fighting and all that stuff and he choked him and um the, the, the thing is is that obviously we, people are saying that this is about a video game but it's not this is 10 years of toxicity building up between these two people all right we just gonna we just gonna be real that just ended up being what was the culminating factor at the end of the relationship but there was toxicity between that that's 10 years of resentment because when you choking somebody to the point where you want them to to, to die that's resentment that's a moment of hate, okay? You 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 have something against this person. And see, here's the things that happen even in homosexual relationships, or you wanna call it gay relationships or heterosexual relationships. And I've been there before. In a heterosexual relationship, of course, don't y'all try to, you know, mess my, my commentary up. Why are you gay? Is when you're dealing with somebody and there's a lot of resentment, you resent them. But most of all, do you know who you resent? You resent yourself because you can't do no better than them. That's what the real problem is. And what am I talking about? Because of your lack of effort in life, you're in a small city, or you feel that this person is the reason that you did not progress of life. If you would have did something else, you would have been further along in life. This person you invested in and now, see all of those things, that's resentment. But the reality is, is that you can't do no better with them. And there are a lot of men and women today that are in homes. They sleep together every day. And one person hates the other. Maybe they don't know it, but you resent them. Some guy, their wife won't sleep with them, won't have sex with them. They start hating her, resenting her. I was talking to Dr. T.S.N. Johnson, and he's talking about brothers who have been in sex relationships for 10 years. You can't tell me that's not no resentment behind that. But see, but before it get that far, here's what you got to do. Before it get that far to where I hate you so much, I, I might do something to you, anything and pop up at any moment. Like we gonna argue over a video game and I'm gonna end up doing something to you. I'm gonna leave because 10 years, it ain't going nowhere. Don't nobody do nothing to this, to somebody like this and they love them and they care about them they respect them no you do this to somebody that you don't like or in a crime of passion you feel that person has mistreated you or they have lied to you they still cheating on you well then why don't you get your ass up and leave but now you're going to prison now you're sitting there remorseful 
because you wish you wouldn't have did it, but it's too late now. See, when you was doing it, you didn't care about that, but now it's too late. When all you had to do was value yourself enough to just move on. And there's so many folks that will kill somebody or hurt somebody because they don't want to move on or they don't feel that they can move on. That's called a scarcity mindset. I'm telling you right now, the way to make any kind of money in life or to get rich or to be is to be successful is the first thing to get in your mind that I'm, I'm better than the stuff I'm taking right now. It's more out there in the world for me than what I'm seeing. Once you start thinking like that, you can let people go. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna hurt, but it's, it's easier. It's easier to get rid of people who don't need to be there. Why is that? Because then you don't care. You might be alone, you might be broke, but you're not gonna be in prison over killing somebody that you are hurting somebody that, that you didn't need to do that for. It's not worth it. It's not. And so many, so many black men have that issue. And, and when it comes to us as a group of people, we just gotta be able to be strong enough to be like, I just don't wanna deal with this no more. Same thing dealing with, 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 with women. I tell the women the same thing. If you're not getting what you need to be getting from a guy or, 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 or vice versa, the same thing for a brother. Don't resent that woman because that's how fights happen. Arguments happen and things. It, 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 if that person didn't do what you wanted them to do, if you can leave it on favorable terms, do that. And it's coming from a guy I never really leave on favorable terms. But if you can do it, do that. And then you'll feel so much better when you lay that burden down. This bitch, a song in church talked about that. You know, laying your burdens down. Get rid of people who don't want to do what you want to do. Don't, don't get mad at them and want to hurt them. They don't want to do what you want to do. It's not going nowhere like you want it to. Get, just, get, just, just go be by yourself. If you have confidence in yourself, you can move on. All right? You ain't gotta be sitting there like this brother about to go to jail for many years out of your life. You a young man, 31 years old, you done threw your life away over a guy you probably still love. You gotta go tell his family that you killed him. And both of y'all family probably know each other, all kind of stuff. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first company to pin the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains on all time high. I'm out.